Welcome everybody back to our Blue Z Water channel. Today, I'm privileged to have Dr. Joe Dodoro with us to discuss his very impressive photobiomodulation device. And um, for those of you who are doing research on photobiomodulation, it is used for traumatic brain injury, uh, depression, general brain repair, from both physical, mental, and emotional trauma. And Joe has done extensive research. We did a recent video with a preeminent researcher in photobiomodulation, so please, we'll put a link below and please check out that video. So welcome, Joe, and please tell him about what you have to offer. Uh, thank you, Andrew, for that kind introduction. Well, I've been uh, in the field of neuroregeneration for over a decade. And uh, my company has, you know, a suite of products that we use to treat the brain. These are transcranial uh, photobiomodulation device and an intranasal device, which is really never before we've seen in the United States. Great. Um, so just real quick, uh, what motivated you to get into this type of work? Well, you know, uh, my company was working extensively in the neuropathy field and the research was just coming out enough to be, to say that there was evidence to show that uh, photons of light can pass into the brain and affect it either through the skull or on, placed on the head or the intranasal. And it just so happened that my son-in-law uh, uh, heard about what we were doing and he said, my grandfather bought one of these 10 years ago in Slovakia. I said, really? So we investigated that. And we found a company that it makes a, you know, if uh, it, it, it makes something that's really out of this world, that the technology is really quite advanced. And that's why I'm bringing it to America. Great. So for those of you who have been doing research on photobiomodulation, by the way, another big application is dementia and Alzheimer's. And there's a company out of Canada called V-Light that uh, markets units. And we want to do some comparison to your unit and the V-Light. So can you, uh, let's start off yeah. with the intr intranasal unit. Let's talk about that. So uh, that they did a study with the five people and they showed uh, changes in uh, moderate uh, Alzheimer's people. They showed changes uh, that went after about three months, they showed some positive changes in cognition and, and uh, uh, you know, self-efficacy, their ability to do things. My, my research with uh, my, lay, my uh, helmet pad and the V-Light pad uh, showed rapid reversal of cognitive decline in 30 days, one month. So within one uh, week, it was already starting to have its effect. So you know, we come from some research also. I mean, this is a research base. I'm a chiropractic neurologist and I have a master's in clinical research. It's kind of what I do. So having my evidence to show that this is, can change people's brains very rapidly as far as dementia to normal in one month, that's sort of what really excited uh, uh, me to get going and bring this stuff forward. So when you talk about a comparison, we do have, you know, kind of like head to head comparison on these things. So let's talk about the intranasal device that I have. My company's Pro Neuro Light, and we're distributed for these things. So uh, Andrew, you wanna show them what the, uh, what the V-Light looks like? Right, so the intranasal and the V-Light, let me get it out here. It pulses at, turn it on. There's a box here to control both the headset, this is the neuro, and the intranasal. Now that this one is set at 10 hertz pulsing. Now, let me show you this. They call that the alpha. This is, this is mine, right? And you can see that it's, I don't know if it's because reverse, but it's completely programmable. So you can set the power for whatever you like. You can set the time for zero to 30 minutes zero to five milliwatts for the power. If you want a low one, start off low. And then you can set the frequency to anything between zero, which is constant wave, no frequency, to 99, which is high frequency. 
Right, and this has yeah. got one setting only. Do you know the power output on this one, by the way? That one is about uh, 7.6, I think, if it's the 6.3. So there's the, they vary. I think some of them can be, the ones they did their research on was about uh, seven, I think. Seven, seven, seven watt, now show me yours. Seven milliwatts. And what does yours go up to? Five. Okay. I wanna show you this, this is, the, this is the amazing thing. You get two diodes with this one, red and infrared. Turn yours on and see what, what, if you can actually see it in the camera. See, that's the infrared or red. What'd you get? The infrared, right? Right, that's pulsing infrared. Infrared. So this is my pulsing infrared. You can even see that it's more. See that? And so this is- Does yours have more power than this? Uh, no, but I think it's the way the applicator is. Because it's really determined by the applicator. If you look at this one, see how it's straight and it goes straight in? So I think that the, the design of the diode itself is incredible. Now look, let me do this one here. This is even with the lights on. You can see that power of right. the red. But you cannot do that with the infrared, with the red of the uh, via light. Right, I'll correct you, you don't have. Look at this, look at this. You can even see the, hmm? Right, you the applicator on this is very tiny. Uh, this is more like, this is probably shooting a, 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 like a single stream of energy. Well, it's pulsing, but so what I'm trying to point out is that this application, you can see how far up it goes. Now I'm up into my, where it's here, where all I have to go is just that far into my prefrontal cortex. And that's why I think this is an amazing device because you've got two devices because you have red and infrared and you, and you also have the ability to do 10 hertz, 30 hertz, 40 hertz, 90 hertz, uh, depending on what application that you want to apply. Correct. That's why I think if, if the, well, there's no doubt that the via light is an excellent instrument. It's a Prius. It's something advanced as far as that goes. But this device here, the Pro Neural Light uh, nasal, intranasal device is a Mars lunar lander understand that's the difference and the right. science and the power so i want people to see that there's there are options out there that are scientifically based and we've just actually uh i'm gonna turn this off now you know what i get all the time when i turn this on people see this you can follow me on my uh instagram at uh, my underscore brain underscore matters they get rudolph it, red, it makes your nose red, it lights up your nose. Which, which really you can't find that with, the, with any other product. What's the time period normally that you treat on the intranasal? So for intranasal, as far as the applications, uh, you want to, most of the time, I say you want to start off slow and let the body accommodate. The sicker you are, the, 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 the longer it takes to get up to be able to do a full 25 or 30 minute treatment. And then you can go up to twice a day. But it depends on what you want to do and what day you want to, do, you know, what time of day it is and what you're trying to do to your brain. So that's really the other application. The health, overall health of the body, what kind of diseases do you have? And then, you know, what is it you're, what you're trying to do? So that's why you have, uh, you know, we recommend that you always use both the red and the infrared simultaneously and that you use the uh, infrared in the left nostril and the red in the right nostril at the same time. So the Is ability that, to- uh, Can you reverse that? It's, can, you, can you reverse that? I, I used to do it the other way, so I don't think there's any problem reversing it. I'm just trying to have a little bit more activation, if I can, to the left prefrontal cortex, which is right under, right under here. Okay. So the idea is, you know, right now we're researching is there, do we have the ability, does this light energy that we're putting in the nose, which is starting is right here, whereas the via light's way down here, and it already changes the brain, but we're trying to find out, is it changing the brain directly because it's hitting in the brain area, or is it kind of like a ricochet because it's treating the blood? So we have both applications in one device. 
So two applications in one device that you can set to whatever you want. It doesn't mean like you have to buy. To do the same thing with the VLite, you'd have to buy four devices. Right, the VLite also doesn't have a steady uh, red light therapy uh, going with the infrared pulsing. Of course, so you would have to buy a 10 hertz infrared, a 10 hertz red, a 40 hertz infrared, and a 40 hertz red, which they don't even make a 40 hertz red, I don't think. Yeah, they don't even sell a, a straight red, do they? I think that one, their, their cheapest model are, uh, is, is red, but I think it does have a pulse. But continuous red is very positive, and so right. is continuous infrared. Right. So that's the yeah, whole I mean, point. You get the benefits of both. You have m b multiple benefits, you know, and ex exponential is what I tend to see it. That's why I think the power of this device is so, so much more. This is the device again. You see it here with the dual probe. I think the design of it is great. The other thing is that these caps are removable, Andrew, so that you can, multiple people in the family can use it. They don't have to stick the same thing up their nose. Uh, I think this is, that's great. Do you, do you have multiple caps or you just clean them and sterilize them? Multiple caps. Oh, wow. It comes with a set of, I think it comes with a set of about uh, four or six. But you could sterilize them too, right? Yeah, but these are yours. It's like a tooth, it's like an electric toothbrush in the Right, right, right. But if you have clients, for instance, you could uh, just rotate them and then uh, sterilize them at the end of the day. Right. I believe so. So, um, okay, so let's move on to the, uh, the helmet. Do you have your helmet there? No. I have the... Uh, I have the uh, one from V Light. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Put, put that one on. Yeah, that'd be better. So tell me about the V Light. Tell me about that. It, it goes in your ear, right? That thing, that socket fits in your ear, right? Right. It has. You know, just cushions for the air. It has four lights. It has basically a light here, uh huh, one back here, uh huh, and two right here. That's it. And they pulse. Yeah. And 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 you know the the thing that, that you can see that this is my helmet. So uh, if you yours is infrared, right? Right. It's a pulsing. Its pulse is just like the, the intranasal, except right. that they got a they actually, the first one they had wasn't strong enough, and they, I actually talked to Dr. Lim, and he said, look, I think you need more power to get through the skull, and they eventually did make one about five times more powerful, which is this one, to get through the skull. But there's only four, four lights. Yeah, so let me talk, to, let's talk about that a little bit. So this is pancranial. So this is the entire head, all Correct. the way down to the jawline, for people with uh, uh, facial, uh, problems or jaw problems, the light is gonna get in there. So this is red and infrared light. And you see a lot of videos that I did on my Instagram channel. And the point is, they make a big uh, thingamajiggy about the placement of that. Keep it on, Andrew, keep okay. it on. That how, I mean, how much power can you put in one little spot? And then if you were on a special spot, if, if in fact this was touching the brain tissue, you know, you're only illuminating or, uh, you know, irradiating a very, very small spot, which, which when you think about it, th this is red and infrared, again, two different wavelengths that have been shown to help increase circulation and increase, increase the energy in the tissue underneath it. But on the other hand, it's, 250 diodes, and you're looking at four, and in the newest, newest one, it's the three per each one, so maybe 12. So this helmet, according to our calculations, is 42 times more powerful than that helmet that you have on your head there. Right, and the, the, both the, the Noro is only four, four period. Four period. Well, four so, period. Uh, and it goes to 10 hertz, that one's is a 10 hertz? This is the that what they call the alpha ten hertz neuro. Yes, yeah? so they have a gap. You have to buy a separate box for the gamma, which is forty. Uh -huh. So the thing, the thing that uh, what we find is that when you use when you treat on the skull, you know tra transcranially versus intranasally, you want to have the maximum amount of power and penetration and juice that you can get there. 
And that's why this helmet and its design is comfortable, it's flexible, it fits all sorts of heads, and it's completely portable. And it's just more power. Uh, and I think that it's already been proven to have rapid reversal of cognitive decline and its major changes in, in circulation. Right, so it's, uh, just through the audience, it's both red and infrared, correct? Correct. The same neural, it's, and, and you know, the point is that to, uh, ongoing research right now is trying to figure out what, to, to, you know, how much actual change in blood circulation are we going to find? How much vasodilation? You know, we've already shown that it changes the brain on the QEEG. You know, light does change the brain. Light gets in there and does something. We're just trying to, the lab that I'm working with is just trying to get a little bit closer information on, you know, can we see it? Can we monitor it? Can we, can we use it as a roadmap? Is there any technology out there that we could use as a roadmap to watch the brain changing right before our eyes? And that's really what we think we can do. You know, it can do, if, it can, if they can measure changes in something that's uh, 140th the power, we should be able to see the changes. And we have seen it in uh, uh, post-traumatic uh, you know, traumatic brain injury uh, patients that the brain does become more coherent. It does work better. It does have a better function. So I really appreciate that you're letting uh, me come on and share these insights and differences between these two technologies. Now I can see a little bit of a flicker in yours compared to the power of mine. You see mine? Right. So I can see a little flicker there. That's good. Uh, but you can see the little infrared right here on mine too. See it? Right. So I think that when you combine these two is really the best that you can do. Right, so if you combine the intranasal, you can set the frequency. Because there's speculation on what the frequency, you know, I mean, you can go set it to 10 if you want, or if you think they say for uh, plaque, 40 might be is theorized as being a frequency to use. Well, if we didn't talk about actual applications, if we, if we talk about what the brain is, a slow waves, is more meditative and calm, you know, like a calm, relaxed, go to sleep. The higher waves are more creativity and activity and maybe mental clarity. So, you, you know, you don't want to put yourself to sleep in the morning with 10 hertz, right, in a sense, if that's really what you're doing. Uh, uh, but maybe later in the day when you want to calm down and have a treatment in the evening to kind of be, get ready for sleep, that's in the lower, lower wavelengths. Or hertz that you can program the intranasal for. Right. So that's how you can experiment. You could go down to like around Schumann, around eight hertz, or go down to theta, like four or five. That's right. And um, so you, yeah, you have to factor in exactly what Dr. Joe is saying here that each frequency cor corresponds, like th delta and theta correspond with dreaming and meditation and sleep. Alpha's relaxation. If you go around 50 hertz, 60 hertz, you're up in the gamma brainwave, you know, creativity, like you said. So you're, these frequencies that have uh, brainwave activity obviously is, um, affects mood, sleep. Well, you know, you think about it, uh, Andrew, people are buying all, in mass quantities, these whole saunas, you know, infrared saunas and infrared boards where you stand this far away from them, you know, you know, farther than that. And they just put the light on their body. And it's really, really re very, very low effectiveness. I mean, as far as penetration, it'll get on the surface of your skin and it'll have an effect. I mean, it does. But putting it on the skin, putting it in the right places, and, you know, giving yourself a mass amount is what gives you more brain power. In the end, more brain power is what we're about. So if I wanted to, if I wanted more brain power, would I take a, a teaspoon like yours is, right? A teaspoon of this positive nutrient, or would I take a gallon of it? You know. Correct. So the more the more you want, the more. I mean, it, 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 it's it's there's no side effects. Can't really do can't do too much of it, you know. But that's why I say that this size of helmet, when my brain matters, the Pro Neurolite Pan Cranial. Photobiot, transcranial photobiomodulation is really a breakthrough. And then when you add that to the 
uh, dual intranasal probe, you drive the brain to the level that you want. So this, can you could say, increases the circulation, makes the brain work, gives it a positive boost in the way that it want, and then you can drive it to whatever capacity that you can, you know, that you want to do. Dual probe. So that's why I think it's an excellent, excellent uh, suite of devices. And that's why people like you who have experience in this field and personal experience using them both uh, are as the main person to bring this out to the public. Okay, so let's go over pricing. So the how much is the helmet? The helmet is a fifteen hundred US. Okay, and the intranasal is twelve hundred US. Great. And we're going to offer a special for anybody watching this video. If you buy e uh, either one separately, you get ten percent off, and if you buy the whole kit, the combination, you'll get fifteen percent off. That's a good deal. So, I think people are going to enjoy this. I think they're going to benefit from it. And just please contact me and we'll get your code, and get you in touch with Joe to order the unit. It has a one year warranty. Do your research, look up, uh, you know, for those of you doing your research, contact me and I can give you the comparison. By the way, the company out of uh, Europe, they had a lot of research when they developed this. Well, it's, the, it's actually the only uh, intranasal company in all of Europe at this point uh, because their standards were so high. And they have, uh, they do different types of things. They use a biofield uh, evaluation of the changes to pick out, you know, how much power and what's the frequency. They also use live blood cell analysis, which, you know, we have documented also that it increases the flow of the red blood cells. So this uh, blocking and stacking and stickiness of the blood cells are eliminated with uh, intranasal uh, 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 light, both red and infrared. So we have right. a research paper coming out on that. And if people want to know, see some of my research, uh, they can uh, follow me on Facebook, uh, Dr. Joe DeDuro, and uh, look, look for me on Instagram. But we can give that stuff once they, uh, in the link below, right, Doc? Right. So, um, yeah, just contact me and we'll get you the code for the discount and then uh, get, get you in touch with Dr. Joe to Look at look at the research. Get any further questions? Uh, you know the applications once again are dementia, Alzheimer's is a huge depression, traumatic brain injury, anyone with PTSD from coming back from war. These are all uh, applications, and just overall brain health, brain function. Uh, we have we need more brain power. Everybody needs more brain power. You won't have less, right? And regulation too. So when we think about brain power, we also think about being able to get down to meditative states, relaxation. The brain is right now being sometimes overamped by uh, EMF fields, chaotic fields, too much uh, adrenal push. So overall, neuro brain regulation is very important. Alrighty. So any questions? Yeah, please contact me. Any any last uh, comments? No, I think that's a, I think that you're doing a great service getting this stuff out there, and you, know, you have your own personal uh, experience with both devices, and you know what works. And I'm sure you'll share that with anybody that contacts you. So I thank you for your time, thank and you. I'll see you guys on the web. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.